Hey guys, before we start the show, I want to let you know if you guys go to iankellogg.com, that's right, Ian. Kellogg.com starting today and until December 5th, you can take 20% off your entire order using coupon code CyberJohnWeek. Guys, this is a great chance to stock up on John's Arcade branded parts kits. And yes, these are the highest quality kits. You guys should order nowhere else. <laughs> and honestly, you're also supporting the channel. And guys, the first 50 or 75 or so, I think we have about 75, maybe 100 of these, whatever it is, the first 75 people that order are gonna get these two, and these are the John's Arcade High Score Post-it Notes. You guys can write your scores on them, stick them on the games, they're super cool. Anyway, iankellogg.com, coupon code CYBERJOHNWEEK, stock up on parts kits and support the channel. All right guys, let's get on with the show. Hey guys, we are in the basement and yes, the arcade is turned off guys because stuff is happening. Stuff is happening. Jay's here. <laughs> and Sean, what's up Sean? So guys, you'll, you'll notice that there's some stuff going on down here. What do you, what do you think, Jay? What is so, this? What, what, what this is a Z-Back Street Fighter II uh, cabinet and it's actually removed from its hole. Where's it going, <laughs> It's leaving, Jay. And, and guys, you're going to find out what's going on here in a second. And then Ghostbusters, all wrapped up, Jay. It's ready to go. Such a fine job. <laughs> and you'll notice the NBA fast break also missing because that's wrapped up actually by the by the basement stairs over there ready to leave. And we have a couple games in the garage that are actually leaving. And, and where Jay, are they going? I don't know. Where are they gonna, actually, okay, we're, we're gonna show you where they're going. This is very exciting, Jay. Because Jay and I are doing something here. And are we doing something? We are doing something. Right. This is pretty exciting. Let's so see what we're doing. All right, guys, let's so we're gonna go load these up in a truck that's outside. And we're going to show you guys what's going on here, and uh, I I'm excited, Jay. <laughs> so, I'm excited. All right, guys, let's go. All right, let's go. All right, the Ghostbusters all loaded up in the Explorer, and uh, let's go down here. I think so. All right, truck's all loaded. Jay, how many games are in here? Uh, 24? 24. 24? 24. Eight that rows of three. That's it? That's it. Right. Just 24. This time. It's a small truck. Plus one other game the ghostbusters right. in the explorer That's so street fighters in here the pole position two from the garage nba fast break and then jay brought 21 games That's right <laughs> for 25 game 25 game total to start. yeah so all right jay where, where are we bringing these <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's get out of here, though. That was that was actually a lot of work. You guys actually did more work loading this. It's a full day. <laughs> it's gonna be worth it. Though. It is. All right, guys. Let's let's bring these games somewhere. By the way, this is a pretty big truck. Jay, how long is this truck? Twenty-four footer. Twenty-four feet. Oh, twenty-six. 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 <laughs> so, all right, guys. Let's get out of here. Jay, we're here. We're here, Jonathan. All right, this is it. And by the way, guys, this is Harold. Harold is the proprietor of the Hangar Pub and Grill. Hi, everyone. In Amherst, Mass. Okay. And so Jay and I are partnering with him, and we're going to be putting all these games in his establishment. And we have a lot of work ahead of us. But guys, this is super exciting. Jay, are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> We've been talking about this for a long time. And today is finally the day. This is the big day. So we have a lot of work to do, guys. We're going to load this up. But we'll go inside in a little bit, and I'll show you what's going on. All right, guys, this is the room right here. So we're trying to figure out where the games are going to go. And, and by the way, this is a massive bar. It's a brewery. It's Amherst Brewing Company. The place is amazing, guys. <laughs> we're going to be doing stuff here. We're going to be hanging out here quite a bit here. I'll just kind of show you over here real quick. Let me turn the light off so no one gets annoyed. But here's like the main bar and stuff. It's, you know, it's, it's a bar, guys. <laughs> So right now we gotta figure out where, where we're gonna put these games though. So we got a lot of room here though. This is gonna be amazing. I I'm getting excited, I'm nervous, I'm scared, I'm everything all at once. <laughs> I'm a little bummed you know, to take some games out of the basement but this is gonna be worth it. And there's an operator in here already. Their games are gonna stay, they have a Monster Bash, a Golden Tina, Buck, Buck Hunter. So those are gonna stay and ours are gonna go all around it. All right, we're gonna talk about this, I'll be right back. All right, guys, just a quick little update here. So it's coming together, little by little. What do you guys think, huh? So Jay, what do you think? How are we doing? 
This is, is this fighting game row? Hey guys! <laughs> Star Wars, Dig Dug, Marvel Madness. Jay, this is a pretty legit collection here. A little bit of Atari, <laughs> you know, sprinkled in. Uh, it's getting there. Our getting pins. There. And, and, you know, we're going to refine and grow this, Harold. You know that. <laughs> refine and grow this. So Ghostbusters is here, Fast Break's here. That Monster Bash is not ours, but we're going to be adding more pins. And then Centipede and Frogger's going over here. So this is all going to be games. So I think before we leave tonight, we'll have, we'll have 25, 26 games in here. And I'm going to come back with Donkey Kong 3. And the Jays got to come back with a few too. So anyway, we'll, we'll keep working here, guys. This is very exciting. <laughs> Hey Jay, let's do a quick update. So we've been working. Yeah, I know. We we've been doing this for I don't know hours. It's nine o'clock now. What time we get here? About six. Probably months. So three hours. Um, it, it's coming together here, and we got more stuff to bring. We got like a good Atari row. So this is our fight. Yeah, we got a Atari row, fighting row. We got Miss Pack, Super Mario. We got these guys playing cornhole. <laughs> So over here we got Centipede, Super Mario Brothers, and Miss Pac-Man. And so we got room to add maybe one or two right here. And here's, of course, the bar. You know, it's, it's Sunday night here, so it's kind of late, but we'll, we'll kind of walk through here real quick. It's a big place, guys. There's, there's lots of room to grow. You know, we got rooms back here. And then they make their own beer here, which is exciting. Here's the brewery in the tap room. So if we come back here, there's all the hops and stuff, but, and then this is kind of cool, this, uh, you know, it's Sunday night, so, you know, things are not really hopping right now, but it's looking pretty, pretty hot, you gotta admit, right? So Jay, Burger Time, Frogger, Red Donkey Kong, Punch Out, Mappy, Belly Midway Row, Pac-Man, Galaxy, and Galaga, Galaga 3, Berserk, and then we got our pins. NBA Fast Break, Monster Bash, not ours, but here. Ghostbusters, Double Dragon. Gee, I think that's a good spot, right? Yeah, Kung Fu Master's gonna go right next to it. And then Marble Madness, and then our Ataris, Asteroids, Pole Position 2, like I said before. So, it's coming along, guys. We're almost done. Jay, this is really exciting. I'm excited, John. I mean, we've been we've been talking about this for, for since early summer. Yeah, oh, I think. That. Yeah, like, probably six months, right? Yeah, we've been we've been talking to Harold for since right. like spring, I think, yeah, right? Yeah, in the spring. Yep. So this has been a work in progress, guys, for about I don't know six, seven months. It's coming together. And here we are. <laughs> so, and like I said, this is gonna evolve. Oh yeah. This is what I'm excited about because we're gonna be fine tuning this. Yeah. Yeah. And pretty much living here, fixing these games. <laughs> this is that's the part I'm not looking forward to. You didn't to. tell me that part. John. I, <laughs> I forgot about that. Jay and I are gonna be sleeping here, making sure your stuff keeps working. So, anyway, guys, I'll be back in a little bit. We're we're getting somewhere here, though. What do you guys think? Huh, Jay? I think it's a good spot. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, Jay. So we've been here for a while. I think we're about done for tonight. Yeah, it's getting cold out here. <laughs> we should wrap it up. Yeah, we should. But guys, this is it. The, the Hangar Pub and Grill in Amherst. We're going to be doing events and meetups and greets. And, tournaments. And, and tournaments. And John's Arcade. And hey, guys, we're at the Hangar. <laughs> so, Jay, I got to tell you, man, I'm so excited. And I, I, I mean, just look through the windows, John. You can see I the know. game. I, I cannot believe them. that we're doing this. We couldn't get the Finally. game fast enough. People <laughs> putting quarters in before we even turned them on. I know. Isn't that amazing? It was crazy. I noticed that right away people went to NBA Fast Break and Ghostbusters. And Pac-Man. And Pac-Man. Pac right, right away. away. Those are going to be the big earners. Like immediately, yeah. they were playing those games. They weren't even turned on. They were playing. <laughs> so, so I think we're done for today. We can go in. Yeah, let's go check it we out. We got to have a beer because, of course, Amherst Brewing Company is in here. They make actually really good beer, and we have the magic card. You know, What's that entitled. <laughs> Harold this? gave us the magic card. <laughs> so they actually have this thing with these these like self service taps, which is actually pretty cool, I think. So. And we have the little magic card here that gives us unlimited beer, which is pretty dangerous. So they got Wet Hop Jess, which is really good. I never tried the Vixeria Dry Hop Juliet. Shelly, Juliet. I don't know, Jay, what are you thinking? Two Sisters Imperial Stout, Gone Postal IPA. I I'm kind of thinking for Juliet's me... The, Juliet's the one, right? Is that Juliet the is after? really good, yeah. Juliet's the beer to have. And Jess. Right, yeah. Let's do those. But okay, so I would recommend Jess is a little bit lighter than the okay. Juliet. So, so go with the Jess. Yeah. Right. Want to try it? Yeah. So I, I've never done this before, by the way. I don't know what we have to do. All right. So we need a glass. We're not. I think when they when they pour it at the bar, they let it overflow, don't oh, they? Do they? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Isn't that is that how you do it? 
You let the foam overflow. Are we doing it wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You know what? There's enough here. Jay, cheers, buddy. And guys, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff here. How about some foam? I, I think next Friday, we, uh, a, uh, a week from... Grand opening? I think like in a few days. Oh. All right. Let's have oh. a meetup. Yeah, let's do it. A little John's let's, Arcade meetup? Yeah. All right. Next Friday. This Friday. This Friday. What do you think? Let's do it. All right, guys. That's going to do it. We just wanted to kind of let you know what's happening here. This is super exciting. So. This is the start. <laughs> what? This is just starting. This right? is. All right, guys. We'll be back. and We're going to be doing tons of videos here. I, I, I'm going to be fixing stuff and making videos all the time, I think. This paint is blue. <laughs> <laughs> Brown. Brown, the right. Paint, paint is, is brown. brown. Sorry. So. This paint is brown. All right, guys, let's go back to the basement. All right, guys, there you have it. So, yeah. So, what do you think, guys? Huh? Pretty crazy, right? It's nuts. So, I'm excited. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm very excited. I, I'm anxious about it. I'm scared. I, I really am scared because I don't know what's going to happen here. You know, are, are we going to be living in, at that place every day fixing games? That That's a little bit of a concern. But you know what? I've been wanting to do this forever, and, and here we are. We, we finally did it. And, of course, thanks to Jay and, and Harold at, at the hangar. I mean, without those guys, obviously, this would not be happening at all. But, but take a look here. This is a little depressing. I, I'm not going to lie. You know, when I was packing up these games last night, pulling the Street Fighter out, my beloved Ghostbusters, my beloved NBA Fast Break, it was making me a little sad. I, I am not going to lie, but I knew it was the right thing to do. <laughs> I knew that those games belonged in that bar, you know, because we got to have good stuff, right? And Ghostbusters, come on, that's a great game. You got to have pinball. You got to have NBA Fast Break. Everyone loves Street Fighter, you know, so Street Fighter's there, so... It is what it is. So, anyway, guys, this is kind of a, a new chapter for the channel. And uh, I, I don't know how this is all going to shake out. I'll tell you this. The basement, you know, is still going to be the basement. We're going to replace those pins, replace Street Fighter. You know, Mortal Kombat can go right there. The Bronco, I might bring the Bronco down and we can work on it. Uh, but I, I don't know. I, I'm pretty excited here. The basement, again, we're going to get those games back, get other stuff, whatever. And, of course, we're going to be spending a lot of time at the Hangar Pub and Grill in Amherst, Massachusetts. And, honestly, I hope you guys can come out there because it's a fantastic place. We'll be doing meetups and, and tournaments. So, who knows? what you know and of course I'll be doing a lot of videos there actually Jay and I are gonna meet there tomorrow and, and go through all the games and tweak them I might do an unlisted video so be sure to follow me on Twitter but guys I, I hope you enjoyed this video I, I, we did it kind of short because uh, well we are working all day actually I'm exhausted right now I can't even talk uh, it, it was a lot of work getting those games in that bar and setting them up and and honestly there's a little things that we have to go back and fix like the coin max and dip switch settings and like a marquee light was out on Star Wars so this is going to be a work in progress and over time here Jay and I are going to be refining that collection making it better and just making it more appealing really and, and adding more games that's that's the goal here but at the end of the day though this basement is very important to me it's not going away but this is definitely going to be a new chapter on the channel where we're doing different stuff and not just in the basement and actually I'm excited about it I, I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun so guys tell me what you think and, and, and also follow me on Twitter and also John's Arcade and Facebook because I think this Saturday Jay and I, I, I think in the video here earlier we said Friday, I think on Saturday we might do some kind of a meetup. So if you guys are in this area, the New England area, and you can get to Amherst, Mass, maybe we can do some kind of just a just a very informal meetup, kind of a grand opening type thing, because this was like a soft launch or opening today. Uh, really didn't make a big deal about it. We wanted to get the games in there and then see what happens, but it, it was getting pretty exciting in there. People were playing the games. I have to tell you, that's exciting. <laughs> so, so anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a pretty cool place. You have to admit, it's a very, very cool place. So, I am parched. I'm tired. I'm all of those things right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I do want to do some viewer mail. And again, iankellogg.com, guys. Uh, Cyber John Week 20% off. Uh, until December 5th. Uh, stock up on cap kits. It's a great way to support the channel. And of course, we're still doing the t-shirt thing. And I want to thank everyone that ordered a t-shirt so far. If you guys go to johnsarcadeshirt.com, you can order a John's Arcade shirt until December 8th. And uh, so far, we have had about 100 orders. Uh, so thank you, guys. You guys continue to amaze me. Uh, and also, there's a couple shirt designs. There's, there's uh, coffee mugs. There's stickers. There's all kinds of stuff. It's not just shirts this time. So go to johnsarcadeshirt.com. You have until December 8th. So anyway, let's do some viewer mail. 
Uh, and by the way, if you guys want to participate in the viewer mail segment, you need to email them to me at john at johnsarcade.com. John at johnsarcade.com. In the subject line, you can put anything you want. Just send your questions, your comments, whatever, to john at johnsarcade.com. Guys, it's late here. It's it's a quarter to midnight. <laughs> I just got home from the bar. <laughs> I'm tired, uh, but I really want to get this video out. <laughs> so, so here we are. <laughs> so anyway, all right, this this one's long. Let's let's do that one last. Uh, this one's from Scott, uh, a.k.a. Biff. Uh, hey, John, big, big fan. What's your take on super guns? Oh, we've kind of covered this before. Uh, would you ever consider getting one? I was looking into buying a Dynamo Z-Back JAMA cabinet, but found out about these devices that literally take up take up no space whatsoever. Connecting to your TV sounds interesting. Best regards, Scott, a.k.a. Biff. Well, we have covered this before, and I think if you're going to do a super gun, you kind of got to make it yourself because the pre-made ones are rather expensive, and at that point, you might as well just get yourself that Z-Back Dynamo. And by the way, I had one right there. It's now in the box. <laughs> so, but super guns are cool, and basically, it's it's a little JAMA type setup uh, where you can plug it into a JAMA PCB. You know, you can plug in controllers, you know, Dreamcast or whatever, or build your own arcade stick, and then plug that into a television set, and you can play JAMA arcade boards on your TV. So, if you guys are interested in doing it, I suggest doing it. But I would just build one from scratch because I think that's going to be the most economic way to do it. Because the people who are selling the pre-built ones, they're rather expensive, and at that point, you might as well just buy that Z back JAMA cabinet. So, so Scott, I hope I answered your question. By the way, it's a mess down here. My basement is dirty. It's filthy. There's mud on the ground from the carts getting the games out I, I need to vacuum and clean we need to actually figure out what we're gonna do with this space I do you know I, I think bringing the Bronco down here would be would be a good move don't you guys think because that would be a fun winter project this doesn't require you know paint and stuff and it's just taking apart the, the mechanisms and cleaning them and putting them back together I kind of want to bring the Bronco down here Mortal Kombat right there and then we got to find another pin I, I don't know we'll see what happens <laughs> all right moving on uh, next one's from Thomas uh, hi, John. I recently went to an auction and managed to pick up an Asteroids cocktail for $20. It won't play, and the Geo5 spot killer keeps activating. However, the cone lights light up. Would the issue be the power supply? Also, does the Electro Home Geo5 have a built-in power supply, which would be activating the spot killer? Love to hear what you think. Good luck on completing the project before winter. Thomas. All right, so Thomas, you know, I, I have dealt with the Geo5, which is a black and white monitor. Uh, he's got an Asteroids cocktail. So the spot killer is on. Now, the spot killer is basically a protection circuit that, that shuts the monitor down if there's no signal coming from the game PCB, okay, or if there's something wrong with the monitor, and it basically shuts it down so it doesn't burn a hole in the center of the monitor, because otherwise you just have the beam focused on the center, and, and you'd have a spot on the tube, and that's why they call it the spot killer. So, uh, okay, so you're wondering, okay, so... Is it a power supply issue? Well, you need to figure that out. You need to test it. So you, you need to figure out if the problem you're having is a board issue or if it's a monitor issue. Because with the vector monitors, it's not always obvious. What, what seems like a board issue is a monitor issue and vice versa. So I would start with the very basics, okay? You're asking if it's the power supply. Well, test the voltages on the board. Do you have five volts? Get the pin out. Google asteroids pin out, okay? It'll tell you which pin on the edge connector of the board is five volts. It might be the third pin or something, the third blade and you want to test the voltages there uh, to see if you're getting five volts from the power supply okay and if you are then you could probably rule the power supply out and basically you just have to go through the whole thing I'll tell you this with my asteroids my asteroids uh, deluxe okay had a, a geo5 or, or the uh, the Wells Gardner flavor of that there's electro home and there's a Wells Gardner they're bas basically the same monitor and by the way those monitors are super easy to work on there's not a lot of parts and the rebuild kits are, are there's nothing to it. There's just not a lot of parts in it. But anyway, my Asteroids Deluxe, the spot killer would come on a lot. It, that happened a lot. And it was the edge connector on mine. Okay, And I would just basically reseat that and eventually I would get to come back on. Much like we have with the Tempest over there. So it could be a connection issue where there's resistance there and you're not getting a, a, a strong video signal to the monitor and it's just shutting down. So you have to look at the edge connector. You have to look at the power supply. You also have to look at the monitor. Is there something wrong with the monitor? And I would also Google the Geo5 FAQ. Just Google, go on the internet, type in Geo5 FAQ, and go through that. It's going to list all these things. Uh, you know, you're asking me if, if the monitor has a power supply. Well, I guess you could say it does, the, the B-plus power supply, but not 
like the power supply, the AR2 that's in the bottom that's giving the 5 volts to the board. It, it's, it's all integrated into the flyback and all that. So, so anyway, to answer your question, check your voltages, check your edge connection, reseat things, push on chips. I fixed, I fixed my asteroids many times like that. You know, I, had, I, I think I had a bad socket. Uh, on one of the chips on my Asteroids Deluxe and I'd always push on the chip and the game would come back to life. So I would do all those very simple things first and then also seek out the GO5 FAQ and also last resort maybe pick up a, a rebuild kit. You can go to iankellogg.com, you know, get 20% off right now with uh, coupon code CYBERJOHNWEEK until December 5th. So anyway, I hope I answered your question. All right, the next one here is rather long, but this was a long day. I. I'm really starting to feel it now. <laughs> uh, this one's from Mark. Uh, actually, Stu. And this is a long email. Here we go. Hey, John. Long time fan of your show. Checking in from Canada. About a week before you picked up your TMNT cabinet, I picked one up for $125 at an auction. It came with the board and the monitor, but no power supply, so I couldn't test anything. Thought it was a good deal, as the cab, side art, and marquee were in good, great shape. This is my fifth machine, so I have some experience uh, with cabinets, but that's journey. But this journey has been a tough one. Wow. Really? Uh, after watching your vid so long, I felt pretty confident in doing the big restore. I just wanted to outline what I've done so far with the knowledge, confidence to do so from watching your show. Awesome, man. Here we go. So, I picked up a switching power supply. I got it all wired up properly, safe, safely. I feel very confident with the multimeter now. Awesome. <laughs> These are all the basics. You got to know this stuff, right? Uh, I fixed the starter on the fluorescent light on the marquee. Quickest, easiest, cheapest, cheapest fix. Those, you know, fixing stuff like this to me is very satisfying. You know, you bring a game home and do the little stuff first. You know, get the get the light working. That's that's something you could check off. That's a hurdle. That's a, a milestone in the restore. So he got that fixed. He fixed uh, the flyback on the chassis was arcing. Wow. Whenever I turned it on, be careful with that. So I ordered a cap kit and flyback from Ian Kellogg. He was great, by the way. I replaced him easily. Getting the flyback in was a bitch, though. It is those fly. You saw in the. Uh, uh, the the 6100 video, I had a hell of a time getting that, that fly back in, getting all those holes lined up. Uh, but there was a, a fuse issue and something else going on, so I sent the chassis out for professional repair. The tech said I did a perfect job on the fly back in the cap kit. He sent back a working chassis. All right. Yeah, sometimes you got to send them out, man. I, I've gotten stumped before, and, you know, Chad at ArcadeCup.com is great. He's usually a little slow, but he does a good job. Uh, the tube was really wavy and wonky. And, the, and the help, with the help of some users on reddit.com, uh, uh, we were able to deduct that the vertical, resist, the vertical resistance ohms in the tube were too high. Weird. So based on uh, junk.net uh, slash donor dot dash TVs, I researched for a replacement tube. So he had a bad yoke. That's really cr you know I don't think I've ever had a bad yoke. Uh, he found an RCA uh, TV on Kijiji, uh, which is like the uh, Canadian Craigslist that might work, and gave it a go. Replaced all the connectors on the new tube and got it up and running. Wow, you got lucky, dude. Um, I don't honestly think I've ever had a bad yoke. Uh, knock on wood. But yeah, if you go to this website, junk.net slash donor dash TVs, they have a list of all these... Uh, TV models and tube models that you can use for to replace for arcade monitors. Uh, the feeling of seeing, hearing, playing the game was truly amazing. Dude, congratulations, man, this is good. Anyways, I just wanted to share my experience with you and let you know that you've been a huge inspiration and your videos single-handedly walk me through restoring my favorite childhood game, TMNT. My other games are Franken games, uh, still, Golden Axe and Moon Patrol, Street Fighter 2 and Zaxxon, Dynamo Main Box and Cinematronics WIP. What's that? I don't know what that is. But I plan on restoring them back to original glory. Keep making videos. See you in the basement, Stu. So Stu sent me some photos here let me show those right now so Stu, you did a great job here that turtles looks amazing and yeah we're gonna get to my turtles I think that's gonna be a spring project right now I want to try to get Mortal Kombat done before the winter <laughs> which is like now but I was really hoping to bring Mortal Kombat down very soon so maybe this weekend and then here's his other games here uh, so dude you did a great job congratulations thanks for the kind words I'm really glad the videos helped you, Mark. You did a tremendous job. Your games looked fantastic. So, anyway, guys, that's it. I need to go to bed. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, guys, follow me on Twitter at BLKDOG7. I have a Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash John's Arcade. Uh, like I said, we'll probably do some kind of a meetup, I think, this Saturday. So, maybe you guys can make it. I, I, I'm sure I'll do a video there. Um, I do kind of want to relax a little bit and just hang out. <laughs> so... <laughs> So, anyway, follow me. Uh, guys, I, I hope you enjoyed this. This is exciting! 
<laughs> and scary. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm a little nervous. So, but it, you know, if it wasn't for Jay, honestly, I, I would have been a, a lot more hesitant, hesitant to, to go for this deal because uh, I was worried about doing it by myself. So Jay, buddy, thank you, man. Uh, I, you know, cause Jay's great. I love Jay. And you know, officially we are John and Jay's Arcade. That's who we are inside the hangar there. And I have no idea how we're gonna brand that. Uh, we're kind of playing it by ear, but this is exciting and we'll, we'll be doing a bunch of videos. And, and, and I think I'm gonna be doing some unlisted videos there. Um, I'll, I'll do definitely formal videos where we have to fix stuff because that's gonna be kind of interesting, I think. And, you know, again, this is, this is another chapter here on the channel, guys, because I don't really know what's gonna happen. I just don't. You know, what's it like to have these games on location and be responsible for them? I don't know, and we're gonna find out in this in this on this channel here so be sure to subscribe like comment tell your friends and that's it guys we're done check out my podcast video game outsiders at videogameoutsiders.com and you suck show at you suck show.com and i think that's it i'll see you guys very soon hope you enjoyed it later and bye <laughs>